You know, I should probably use scripts, but I don't. I never use scripts because I just, I don't work that way. And plus, I sound like an idiot if I make a script. But anyways, I posted a video yesterday about Boogie298 and his allegations of him possibly faking his cancer for the last two years. Now, I had a little bit of time to reflect on this, and I'm sure everybody else has. And I seen a lot of comments that was pretty shocked by this because here's the thing, even if, you know, you, anybody that has a little sense of morality, like just a sliver of sense of morality would not fake his cancer diagnosis, right? You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't expect anybody to do it. You would not expect a decent person to fucking do that. Well, Boogie, Slugmo, the diabetic clown, he's not a person. He is a piece of garbage. Now, a lot of people in the comments section was pretty mad about this. They also, there were some people that also has been dealing with either and they had cancer or lost somebody that had cancer and is deeply disturbed by this whole thing. And we also had some other people that posed one question. Why would you have believed him in the first place? Now, I thought about it. I was very angry, and I talked a little bit about it in the last video. Um, but again, just to reiterate, a lot of people saw Boogie as someone they could relate to. He was the Mr. Rogers of the internet at the time. Had everything going with him for for him. He was a big 600-pound dude. He was depressed. He uh, ended up becoming famous after his whole uh, draw me, draw my life, whatever it was. Uh, which was pretty sad. It was pretty sad if you watched it back in the day. Yeah. But it comes to question, if he's willing to lie about these things, do all these crazy bad things that we're finding out, especially from the documentary, the crypto scam, as well as many other things. Maybe his whole persona is based on lies. And I hate to think that. I hate to think that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Boogie had a terrible life. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how to believe the guy. I don't know how anybody can at this point. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, YouTubers, big YouTubers, that's came out, made their videos, uh, talking about this. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to show you guys a couple tweets from Keemstar. Um, here's the thing. Even, even, let's say even if he comes back, he gets a diagnosis, and he for sure has cancer, the damage is already done just due to the fact that he ran online two years ago without a proper diagnosis and said he had cancer. In the meantime, he was making money from that, especially on this crypto scam where he says, hey, I need the money to pay my medical bills, which CoffeeZilla had a pretty good breakdown on how that was working, which should definitely go check that out. I will put a link in the description below so you can see that as well. But let me go ahead and show you a couple tweets. Uh, Keemstar actually retweeted this. This is from Boogie's uh, brother, apparently, uh, Brian Williams. It says, to those who are trolling my brother, hashtag Boogie2988, I can confirm that his diagnosis of polysemia vera is absolutely true. He has suffered with a debilitating condition for at least two years. I stake my reputation as a health professional on this fact. Keemstar did put that out. He said Boogie's biological brother, who's also a doctor, complains Boogie does, in fact, have cancer. Now, I mean, I, I don't know if this is true. I really don't. And I think we should be able to press the sus button on here. Because I, I, I don't know much about his brother. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if this is real. Could be a sock account. Could be anything. Uh, we have to take this as a grain of salt because just due to the fact that the allegations and there has been tons of lies, we can't take this as fact. Anyways, Keemstar also posted earlier, looks like he posted this on the 11th, 10, 19 a.m., basically talking about how everything went down. So Boogie's, Boogie 298's fake cancer drama to the best of my knowledge, based on everything I know, Boogie went on steroids that could cause cancer to blood years ago and was warned of the dangers. Two years ago, after he lost all his money in crypto, he went to the doctor and had high red blood cells, indicating that he may have cancer blood. 
never never heard that before cancer blood i don't know i'm my i, I don't know it's i guess that's a thing um anyways before he got any confirmation he rushed to make a youtube video announcing he had cancer Two years later, he still doesn't have a confirmation he has cancer, but he has been telling everyone he does and use it as sympathy multiple times. Whether, <laughs> whether it was promoting his crypto scam or asking people to financially support him, lying about cancer could be considered fraud. He is scheduled to get a confirmation test to see if he's 100% has cancer soon. So ironically, even though he lied, he still may have cancer. Whole thing is sad as hell. I do think I do think that Keemstar, you know, is kind of hurt by this because, you know, he is the one to put together like the whole walk house thing. He's actually helping Boogie. And there's been a lot of people that's trying to help Boogie for a long time. Um, you know, I subbed to him on Twitch. I hated his Twitch. I never watched it, but I gave him a subscription because I liked the guy. I would tune in every once in a while, but I was always watching every single video that came out with until probably after his whole fiasco uh after his divorce and when he went fucking psycho and i kind of started tuning him out and i was a super fan i hate to admit that i hate to admit that and you're probably thinking why would you have done that in the first place and it'd be naivety um we all want somebody to hang on to we all some of us we have heroes uh, not all heroes wear capes okay this this hero is not a hero at all like again Slugmo, the diabetic clown, that should be his new name when he comes back. But anyways, anyways, let's just say, let's say he comes back, he has the proper diagnosis. It's not going to change anything. Let's just say he comes back and he has cancer. It's not going to change anything. The damage is already done. For so the two years, he manipulated everyone saying he had cancer without proper diagnosis you can't just go to a doctor and somebody say he says like hey you got a boo-boo got a boo-boo on your leg come out say hey i've got cancer because i got a boo-boo on the leg now it is it is it is fun not funny actually it is um supposedly a fact that he does have uh cancer blood i guess that's what they're calling i don't know the whole name of it the policy me vera uh, somebody in the comment section of my video actually was talking about that as well um here's the thing a lot of people did look up to him uh same thing these last few years we've been seeing scumbags of uh old famous uh youtubers or twitch streamers that had a really good notoriety um like a lot, a lot of them. You've seen a lot of these people. Uh, Dr. Disrespect. You know, a lot of people like Dr. Disrespect. And his drama exploded. And, you know, he was a bad guy. He even admitted it. Uh, who else? We had Wings. We had Boogie. Chris Chan. <laughs> Can you even put Chris Chan? Dark Side Phil. Who else? There's probably more. Pretty sure there's more of them. Probably myself on the list. I mean, even Keemstar gets his... Um, he gets his ass chewed all the time, but he's kind of used to it. He's got fuck you money, so he do what he wants. That's why I like Keemstar, because he's actually pretty funny. Um, and the fact that he did say this two years ago and lived on that and got, uh, you know, donations from his fans. And let me, like I said, he's an influencer. His job is to influence people. That's what an influencer does. That's why Logan Paul and Jake Paul exist. That's, uh, remember the uh, CSGO guys where they had um, uh, the CSGO lottery thing where they was like selling skins and shit like that and they end up being owned by the actual people. It's a big scam. Like you can't trust content creators no matter at this point. You just can't. You just can't. If somebody tells you uh, on a video that they have cancer or uh, Skittles are made from hippos, can't believe him even though it'd be kind of crazy to get skittles made from hippos it'd be interesting um but yeah it's like this is pretty terrible this is really terrible and more and more of this shit keeps coming out a lot a lot and this does and this does even if he does come back says that he does have cancer or he doesn't this does not fix anything if he doesn't it makes it even worse but if he does it might cool down a little bit i don't know if he'll be back he's already basically shut down his twitter uh he hasn't so far 
on the YouTube channel. I don't think he's took that down yet. Let's go ahead and take a look. I don't think he has. Uh, let's see. Bug. Buggy. Slugma. The diabetic clown. Wait, is it? Is he down? Is he gone? Oh, shit! Uh, no, no, there he is. There he is. No, he's still here. He's still here. He's still here. I didn't see you. Usually when it pops up, like, it usually shows the first thing, but... Um, dude, I'm not... Am I subscribed? I am subscribed. Hey, let's do this. Let's unsubscribe. Fuck you, Slugmo. Fuck you very much. Anyways, guys, just going to go ahead and tell you, don't trust anybody. Um, don't let, you know, feelings get in the way. If you think somebody you can relate to, uh, you find these people, you need to question everything at this point. Any content creator, any politician, celebrity, anybody, anybody. You need to, even me, even me, if you, I, I tell you something, you have the right to question it. I, I feel like you need to do that. I think you feel like you need to do that. The best thing Boogie could have done was when he was offered all that money, he said he needed money. That's why he did the crypto scam for his medical bills. You know, they offered him a lot of money on the low, Elo, the low pod, uh, local podcast. They offered him quite a bit. He wouldn't do it. He wouldn't show it. He wouldn't show it. Say it was a, a, a moment for his principles, which he doesn't have principles. Um, that's he just has diabetes and stupidness, <laughs> retardedness. I'm just gonna keep on coming up with words. It's gonna be cringe. I need to stop before we uh, continue. But guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll kind of update you as things go on. I'm sure there's gonna be more stuff that develops. Um, if I was you, if you're following, if you've seen this, and he hurts you in any way, the way he's talking, especially if you yourself or somebody you know is suffering with cancer, and you guys know how fucking hard that is, I tell you, you guys know exactly how hard that is. I went through it last year, and I'm sure a lot of you do are too. And I just say, I hope everything is good in your life. I hope, you know, you stay strong. I hope for the best outcome. If it's not a good outcome, you need to stay with your family, friends, surround yourself, because it's going to affect your mental health. And, you know, I'm a big advocate for mental health. Um, I don't want to see anybody become a st statistic because they lost somebody. I know how that feels. I know exactly how that feels. Um, but let me just say, if you need to, you're not alone. There's a lot of people that love you. Just stay strong. Stay strong with the person that is having these issues. Uh, if you believe in God, like I do, it never hurts to pray. I'm sure I'll be called some kind of Zionist Nazi because I'm a white Christian. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.